All right, now here is something interesting I noticed on the camera assistant application on these two Samsung Galaxy phones. As you all know, camera assistant is a part of Goodlock application. It's a plugin which when installed gets integrated into the camera application on the Galaxy phone. Now here I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra on the right hand side and I got the S22 Ultra on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and open the camera application. Now since I've already installed the camera assistant application, it will show up in the settings menu. Let's go to settings. Here you can see I have got this option camera assistant. Now let me open this. Now all these settings and toggles seems to be pretty much same on both these phones. We've got auto HDR, picture softening option, auto lens switching option, right below which we've got this capture speed. Now if you notice, there is a bit of a difference here. Let me just tap on a capture speed on both these devices. Now you see we have got some additional options when it comes to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. On the S22 Ultra, we've got regular resolutions only. We've got prioritized quality, balance speed and quality and prioritized speed. Depending on the one you select, the capture speed will be adjusted. Whereas on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, we've got a couple of additional options right here at the bottom for higher resolution images. Now, if you have a Galaxy S23 Ultra, you should check out these options because these options will help you while you capture the images at 200 megapixel. As you know, on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, we've got 100 megapixel camera and on the S23 Ultra, we've got 200 megapixel camera and maybe because of which we have got these two additional options here, high resolutions. Here it says, choose faster capture to take pictures as quickly as possible. Choose faster post-processing to avoid waiting when you open gallery to review a picture. Now let's select faster capture option. In this case, when we capture the photos at 200 megapixels, the pictures can be snapped quickly. However, the post-processing is gonna take time when you open the gallery right from the camera application. As you can see, when I click the picture and try to open this image in the gallery right from the app, it is gonna take some time to process the image. Now let's select the second option, faster post processing. In this case, after you capture an image and try to open that image from the gallery here, the post processing will be faster. So depending on your preferences, you can select either faster capture or faster post processing. Now these two options are available only on the S23 Ultra because it has 200 megapixel camera. Whereas on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, on 100 megapixel camera, we just get regular resolution options, but I would say we should have got these options as well on the S22 Ultra because we do have 100 megapixel camera, which does take some time while capturing the image or while post-processing an image. So if you own a Galaxy S23 Ultra, go ahead, select your preference under high resolution option under the capture speed in camera assistance settings. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you find this video interesting and useful, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.